Hi guys, this is Nikki and welcome back to Unlet Yourself Go. Today I want to do something that is so essential to your mind, your beauty, your health, your well-being in your life. And that is having a moment of just indulging in and loving yourself. So with my hectic family, I have two young kids um, that live with me. And, you know, the husband and the house and the stuff and the real estate, the busy days, the homeschooling. And a lot of times that can get so super duper overwhelming. And I used to be really big on, when I say used to be, just a couple of years ago in Hawaii, I was really big, and before, Hawaiian for a very long time before, I was really big on self-indulging. So I would leave the family downstairs and come upstairs um, when we were in the house in Hawaii, leave the family up front and go into the bedroom and have my wine, my book or magazine that I wanted to listen to, my moment of just love and reflection. Sometimes I'd meditate, sometimes I'd read, sometimes I'd just think, sometimes, sometimes I'd even draw. And that kept me in one of the absolute best possible mental states. Nothing can crack me. Nothing can make me overwhelmed. Nothing can make me angry. Nothing can, you know, shift me in a place where I just, my stress levels were going up. And for some insane reason, when coming to South Carolina and then moving into like that 2020 COVID craziness in 2020, that's why I said that, sorry. Um, I, I, I forgot. Don't know how it slipped out of my mind. Don't know how I let it fall down the drain, but I just totally forgot about the importance of coming upstairs just to love on myself and make sure I feel, you know, uh, nourished in mind, body, and soul, um, pampered, loved, and just be spend time with myself because that's one of the, you know, the best things you can do to love yourself. Spend time with yourself, not indulging in negative thoughts or worrying about the bills, letting it go. To come upstairs, talk to yourself maybe, go over some goals, but not like work goals, like big life goals, things that make you smile and make you happy. Um, really envision maybe, I don't know, whatever you want, maybe uh, the upgraded house you want or a certain indulgence you want, a car that you want, and make it all about you in these moments. This is going to do wonders for stress. You're going to feel stress-free. You're going to feel and look youthful. Your cells are going to be happy. They're going to function better. And you have to be in a state of mind. And you have to do it regularly. Like I said, for some reason, I don't even know what it was. I kind of forgot. I don't know if it was COVID because I know it kind of slipped away before COVID. It was just being in South Carolina, I think, because I didn't have access to everything that made me happy. And I kind of like that the tiniest things make me happy. I'm made happy so easily. Um, art museums, you know, shopping or even just browse shopping, uh, pretty little things, magazines, books, things that are just the simplest things to obtain just make me happy. Walks down beautiful streets. I literally go around looking at beautiful houses and that just picks up all my, you know, serotonin levels. But when we got to South Carolina, it all got snatched away. So I didn't have the art museums really to access. There were no more art museums. There was no shopping like whatsoever. The streets are not kept up a point where when you walk down the street, you feel good. You feel like you're in something beautiful. You feel like you're indulging in a wonderful part of you know the world. And no takeaway from South Carolina, but it is what it is. And it's not New York, and it's not Honolulu, and it's not even, you know, uh, Seattle. So it's a big difference to me. And, you know, I, it took away a lot. So the little tiny things that I enjoyed got snatched away immediately. I can't even go out and, and indulge in a bunch of organic food because for the first time I live somewhere where there's not a bunch of organic food restaurants. And there's not a bunch of access to organic foods. And even the, the Whole Foods, you know, doesn't have what I want. I have to go through leaps and bounds just to get nourished properly. So that takes a toll. And then add all of that to when COVID hit one year later. And of course, now I can't even go outside for the little bit that I can access. And um, everything is at home. And you know, just to make a long story a little bit shorter, it, it took a toll and I forgot how to um, come upstairs and just kind of indulge in some really pleasant reading or smells or a glass of wine and I started to get affected so I started to be short-tempered started to be easily you know uh, brushed in the wrong direction started to be irritable 
or irritated by, you know, <clears throat> so I, whatever. And, um, I remember one day and I love, love, love her for this. I called, you know, a friend and I was kind of complaining. I was kind of complaining about the overload with the husband and the kids and the workload. And, you know, I was just kind of, you know, whining, you know, how you whine to your friends and you need friends that can, you know, help you offload sometimes with a little bit of whining. You don't want to bring them down, but they are there sometimes to pick you up and just kind of hear you, you know, and listen. And a good friend will somehow help you out of it. And this is what she did because she reminded me of something I should have been completely aware of myself because this is how I live. This is how I, I show other people how to live and I forgot how to live it myself. She said, Nikki, leave those kids and that man downstairs. Tell me, well, tell them you're staying upstairs. Lock your door, run your bath, put the oils in it, soak for no less than 40 minutes. Come outside, get your wine, get your books. And for two, three, maybe even four hours, act like you are as single as hell and you have nothing to do and life is just perfect and it belongs to you. And she said that, and I'm like, I don't know why I stopped doing that. Girl, you're so right. And it's exactly what I did. Got the bath ready, took a nice long soak, um, used Epsom salt to de-stress, came out, put on my Mozart, because I love Mozart playing in the background. Even when I'm looking through my magazines or even reading, I put on my essential oil so I can start to de-stress and um, all the, you know, cortisol can just start going down. And what wonders, and she made me promise her that um, I do it every week, at least. And I've been doing it every week, at least. And, you know, I, I feel like I am moving back in the direction of being unmoved. Because I didn't even know I got that bad. I got to the point where, you know what? Actually, if a pin drops now, you're ready to bite heads off. You're, you're like, I'm just done. Everybody leave me the hell alone. Get off the planet. I want to be here by myself. And um, it's, it's pulled back. And I'm a lot more able to pull back and be calm and not start getting upset at the same loops the simple loops that can drive you crazy. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes there's simple loops that will drive you crazy. You know, like the classic, um, I'm going to use it as an example, not that I experienced that, but this is the perfect example. The toilet bowl being up, the toilet seat being up. That's a perfect example of something tiny that can just crash your psyche if you're not in the right state of mind because you just get to the point where you're getting the habit of being upset by something and then it snowballs into something big. You're not de-stressing. You're not learning how to handle loops because loops can drive you really crazy when something keeps reoccurring. And, um, and life can go from blissful to almost feeling miserable and nothing really has changed. So what we're doing now is reminding you to take it from any state, whether it's like, you know, just a little upset or kind of normal or even miserable and start bringing back to the bliss. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, and I really hope you guys do it too, is every week or more, I am going to have my romantic time with myself. And of course, when I say romantic, I mean that it's just quiet and loving and, you know, innocent and beautiful and just taking in life on the purest level where I am just feeding my brain. I'm reading, thinking really pleasant things. I'm meditating maybe. Maybe I'm... Um, you know, just kind of envisioning my future the way I want it. I have my glass of wine. Sometimes I have strawberries or blackberries up here. Not tonight, it's just the wine tonight and some water, the essential oil, everything that just makes me feel completely pampered by myself. The kids are downstairs, the husband's downstairs. Nobody's gonna bother me. This is my time. Everybody deserves that, everybody can get it. And of course, that's if you have a husband and kids or somebody, a significant other, somebody sharing the home with you, they need to be able to understand that. Like, that's not even negotiable. They, they will be fine for an hour or so while you take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself and you don't love yourself, there's no possible way you're going to have what you need to take care of and love somebody else. Then you're going to break down and you're going to start to run toward old age and even death much faster. And we don't want that. We're pulling everything back. We're unletting ourselves go. So now, ladies, thank you so much for listening in. I hope you guys, you know, um, take this into account. Not just listen to it, but do it. Tonight, tomorrow, or, you know, no more than a week, make sure you do this. And do it every week because it's so important if you don't. And if you can, I'd love to know how you de-stress. Take your time out 
and indulging you and nobody else is involved. And tell me how you like to do that. I just tell you how I like to do it. And I'm just gonna show you the things I like. So I have my traveler magazine so I can travel in my mind even with COVID in my face. And I'm going to Mexico this year at least because I'm not sitting in the house this year. I can't let COVID kill my life like that. And Architectural Digest because if you guys didn't know, I am an absolute house and uh, real estate buff on all levels. That's just one of my things. It's what I kind of live for for some crazy reason. Not by choice. It's just like kind of ingrained in me. It's a little insane. And then I have, let me pick this up. I don't want it to spill. This is, let me just pick it up a little more so you can see it, I think. Okay. That is my essential oils burning. So I have a diffuser, a fire, a candle diffuser, and I'm burning my a lavender from Bulgaria. And oh, that looks fast. So that's just the oil spilling on the paper and you can't even really see it. So, but it is lavender from Bulgaria. It's uh, organic and it smells lovely. There's so many essential oils, obviously, that you can indulge in, but I, thought, I, I feel like, and a lot of people will agree, that lavender, specifically when you simply want to relax, de-stress, and get into that really good feeling, lavender does wonders. I use a lot of essential oils, but lavender is the go-to if you simply want to feel great in the moment and totally relaxed, so I do that. And then I have my glass of organic red Merlot, my favorite wine. And I'm going to read, and I'm going to relax, and I'm going to listen to some music. And in two hours, I will start to get ready for bed. And my family understands, and they really don't have a choice but to understand, and it makes life beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I really hope you do it. It's not so much about me talking about, you know, my stuff, but I'm really kind of hoping that while you go through the journey with me and letting myself go, that a whole lot of people jump on board and let their stuff go as well. Even if they're not even that far in the let go portion, pull it back. And if you feel like you cannot reverse it because you let go so badly, yes, you can. Let's start to pull it back and, and do life in some wonderful ways. So that is it. I am signing off because I want to go relax now. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I want to do this um, a lot for you guys. I am pushing for every day, but that's overwhelming. But that's kind of my goal, so let me try to do that for you and do it for me because every single day I want to hold myself. So these videos are holding me to account that I am following the path of unletting myself go because what? When I got up that day and saw that things were like out of whack on my face, my environment, my house, where I was feeling, I was like, no, uh-uh, this has got to stop and I'm turning it around starting today. So thanks guys, like, subscribe, bell, and I will see you tomorrow. Alexa, play Mozart. Shuffling songs by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Amazon Music. Thank you.